Uh, greetings to all my fellow uh, watch enthusiasts on uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's Lean Driver again. I uh, wanted to have another conversation with you. Um, based on some videos that I recently put up, uh, my my top five, my two top five videos, my top ten video, and my um, Stay the Collection trio of videos. Uh, you should be seeing this video after all that. And a question that I was um, that I was asked, um, which uh, actually before I do that, wristwatch check. I'm wearing my um, my Horizons. GMT Aventurine face from uh, Zelos. Uh, I love this watch. I'm still in love with this watch. And um, I don't think I'll ever fall out of love with this watch. Uh, just another home run from Zelos. And that leads me to the topic. Um, the topic of today, as you saw in the description, was why one particular brand? Um, a lot of watch collectors like myself and like you folks um, collect watches. Uh, they seem to break down into a couple of different categories. Some some people collect watches from a certain class of watch. Dive watches, dress watches, uh, GMTs, chronographs, whatever. Um, some people collect watches that are what the British call a dog's breakfast. They're all over the place, you know, they'll collect anything that just, you know, like, they'll see something shiny and they'll go like the, that dog in the movie Up, they'll go, squirrel, you know, and that watch over there has their attention for 20 seconds, they'll buy it and then they'll see another shiny object over there and so on. Nothing wrong with that. Um, some people, uh, like it seems like myself at the moment, collect watches from particular brands. Uh, they find a brand and they stay with it. Uh, now, if you remember the state of my collection uh, videos, it seems that I have um, the, almost half of my watch collection is from Zelos. Uh, another good chunk of my collection is Seiko. And then the rest is um, you know, a variety of different watches. Uh, I think it was three from Doxa, three from Squale, uh, th four from Bulova, and then um, a couple of others that are like, you know, single watches in my collection, a single Glycine, a single Breitling, and a single um, Rolex. But my watch collection does tend to um, focus on, on brands almost as much as it does on what I like. Um, I didn't particularly plan it that way, but I understand why some people will gravitate to one brand and their, their, um, their collection tends to center around that brand. My collection tends to center around um, uh, Seiko and Squally, I'm Squally, sorry, Zelos. Um, now, my first Zelos, I, I, I bought one Zelos and then a second one almost immediately. And I, I didn't really intend to go past that. I bought a, a bronze hammerhead and a, and a stainless steel hammerhead based on recommendation and review from my very good friend and my favorite Croatian, uh, Dvor. R Dvor Rib Ribnik, R-I-B-I-C. Ribnik? Sorry, the war. You can send me hate mail letter later if I blew the pronunciation. Um, and I bought those two watches based on his review and his recommendations, based on the fact that I like that style of watch. I like a thicker watch. I like a heavier watch. And I like dive watches. And the, the, those watches appealed to me. I certainly didn't intend to own up to 20 Zelos at one time. I have sold a few since then and acquired others. And right now I'm at 17 as of uh, July of 2019. That's where I stand. 
Um, but I, I, I learned about the, the brand, and the more I learned about the brand and the company, and I got to online chat and email with Z Elshin, the owner, a very wonderfully personable guy, very heavy into customer service, which is unusual uh, in this day and age, and very attentive to what his customers like and what they don't like. And that, as much as anything else, I mean, the style of the watches, the quality of the builds, the, the, the way they look, the way they feel, the way they perform is certainly major components of owning a Zelos. But just as much as anything else is the customer service and the loyalty uh, that he has shown me personally and he has shown his customer base overall. And that, in turn, evokes loyalty from me to him and to his brand. Um, so that's why a big chunk of my collection, I'd say 45% of my collection right now, is from Zelos. They have fantastic look to them. They're solid pieces. They're high-quality movements. And, and they, they keep beautiful time. They look great. Every one of them. I haven't owned a Zelos that I would consider ugly or that I sold off because of the way it looked or the way it felt. I just moved some away that I wasn't wearing anymore and I felt they deserved better than to sit in a watch box. All those factors combined keep me loyal to Zelos. I'm loyal to Seiko because Seiko made some really interesting vintage. Most of my Seikos as you saw in my uh, State of the Collection video, most of my Seikos are older ones now. They date from the 80s and back. I have uh, three that are modern. And I like the way they look too, but I really have begun digging the older Seikos. Um, the, 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 the Pogue, the Doctor's Chronograph, um, the, uh, the Alien Watches and the design aesthetic from... Uh, from uh, from that era and that grouping of watches and really appeals to me. Uh, so that's why I have a big chunk of watches from Seiko. Um, and the other watches um, fall into those categories of I like the aesthetic of it, I like the look, the feel, the style. Um, they just happen to be from different brands, although I do have multiples of, of most brands that I own. Uh, and that's the way my collection tends towards. I find watch brands that I like. Zelos, Squale, um, Bulova, uh, Seiko. And I stick with those because I like buying watches from places that I, I know of. And, you know, known, qu known quantity is very big for me the way I collect. So... When someone asks me, why do you have so many of this watch? The simple answer is, is because that company, um, and I was at the time speaking of Zelos with that, with that gentleman, uh, that company makes watches that appeal to me, they look great, they're innovative, and they, and they are high quality, and they're backed by the best customer service I've seen uh, in the watch industry, bar none. Uh, that isn't under five figures. I mean, if you're spending 10000 and up on a watch, you expect that kind of customer service. I'm getting that level of customer service from a guy half a world away in Singapore selling watches that for the most part are under $1,000 a piece. And when I gave my answer to that guy who asked me that question, those were the things I said to him, and I thought to myself, this would make a good video. This would make something that I can share with you folks as to why my collection has gone in the direction it has. And what I'd like is I'd like to hear from you guys about what you think um, with respect to uh, why is your collection as it is? Why is it, uh, why is it centered around one or two brands like mine? Why is it a scattershot collection from, like, one watch from each brand, but following a certain genre of watch? Why is it a scattershot in terms of both brand style and genre of both, but 
you know, why why is it why is it a complete scatter shot? You see a watch you like, you buy it. It might be a diver this time, it might be a dress watch next time, it might be a digital watch the time after that. So I'd like to hear from you in the comments down there. You know, why is your collection um, like it is? I told you why my collection is like the way it is. I'd like to hear from you. So I'm going to wrap the video up. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comments, questions, suggestions down there. Uh, I read them all. I respond to them all. I delete the nasty ones and I block you. Don't have time for it. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber and you, you're, you're here for the first time, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out, helps grow the channel. Um, and uh, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that when I post new videos, you're alerted. I appreciate y'all stopping by today and uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.